Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good. I got a pretty sweet knife here to show you. It's been in the queue for a while. But first let me tell you why we kind of look around. This past Sunday I was going to do a video on the international budget knives. And I was going to have a surprise in there. And the surprise was I was going to try and do rush out a Christmas giveaway so the winner could get something by Christmas. But I was thinking before I did it that um, because the mail service is all screwed up, nobody's going to get it by Christmas anyway. And now that my Rinky Dink channel has a few more viewers, and a few more subscribers. I figured I better order a laptop so I could do a random draw. Uh, you know, where it picks the picks a winner out of the comment section. So I got that on the way. I already got a knife that I'm ready to do for I guess it won't be a Christmas giveaway. It'll probably be a year end giveaway. But that's coming up. So, anyway, let's take a look around here. I'll kind of explain what's out here as things turn yellow again. You know, I think it might be this marble's orange. Might be changing the colors of everything. As you'll see, I kind of like this out here, so I kind of left it. So I do like my Barlow's and my brand new Bokers. So this is something I get to look at, you know, every morning when I wake up before I go take care of business. And, of course, up there is that beautiful um, Mayor and Grosh that I got to do a video on. Over in the back, I threw out there a um, Boker Camp Knife, too, with the Victorinox. And there's a couple new things on the block here. Haven't had out in a while. This here is a rare Boker Lockback Hunter in Bog Oak. Boker 440C. Germany, if I can get it right there. Me and a friend of mine were trying to hunt down... Um, what Boker actually calls this, but we figure because of the hand grip, it's got to be a hunter, and it is a lockback with a beautiful, beautiful action on it. Figured I'd throw that out there for you guys to look at, guys and gals. Then over here, um, is kind of my favorite carry because my little bullet knife and I tell you Joe over at Messer HQ is right if you guys don't have a three rivet Otter Messer you need to get one because it is a very useful carry I mean I pull it out use it at lunch um, use that quite a bit and then I'll do some little fine cutting with my bullet knife of course, we got Lady Liberty here. And over here, a few things that I haven't had out in a while. Is um, right in the middle there is a Shat Morgan English Jack. To right to the right of that is a Shat Morgan Gunstock. And next, next to that, I'm going uh, to the right of the Gunstock, is a Ram's Horn. It's a Queen... Uh, I think it's called a middleman pattern, serpentine, in a ram's horn. And uh, the horticulture knife, which is pretty cool, in a uh, cherry jig. And to the left of the English Jack is a Boker farm boy in oak. And there's the Schrade Barlow again. And next to that is a um, 
Cripple Creek, Bob Cargill. Cripple Creek, uh, um, Dog Leg Trapper, Dog Leg Mini Trapper. And what I really like about that is that end cap there, kind of like a gra uh, glass breaker shape. And in the back, of course, you got the pickle knife and the new Colonel Coon Junior Scout. And in the middle of the block there, glowing all red and pink, is the Robeson Granddaddy. It hasn't been out in a while. Just a beautiful jig bone on that. Too bad the color's not right, though. But yeah, I got a laptop coming. Um, it's a Samsung Chromebook. And the camera should be probably better than what's on this phone. So some videos I might shoot with the laptop. Uh, we'll have to see once I get it. It should be here before Christmas. And hopefully I can do the giveaway. Um, and we'll do the drawing on my new laptop. But hopefully I can do the giveaway in between Christmas and the new year. So everybody make sure you subscribe. You got to be a subscriber to en enter. Let's take a look at this Shatton Morgan. You guys are going to love this one. It's been in the queue for a while. Yeah, I kind of moved some things around here just to make room. Kitchen counter gets a little cluttered with all these knives out. But you're going to love this one. We may have to get a little extra light on the subject. There we go. There we go. Now, I didn't, this is the only Shat and Morgan that I didn't get a box with, but it looks to me to be like a mini um, Coke bottle pattern. There's no model number on it. Um, it's a smooth, like a honey bone or a ca caramel bone, kind of. But the main main driver on this baby is the uh, spear point. And we'll get a closer look once we get that in the hand. It's a uh, saber grind with a nice long uh, nail neck, long pull. See if we can get in there. And of course this has the end cap on it too. It's a really shiny knife. Let's see what happens if we turn the light on. She glows. Look at that. It's got two blades. It's a pen blade and a spear point. Let's take a look at the pile side really quick. Look at this blade. One of 600. I guess that's a Coke bottle. I tried researching this up and down, and I haven't seen one like it anywhere. Let's see if we move this light up here a little bit. Maybe make it a little brighter. Just a gorgeous little knife. But it, actually, it ain't that little either. Let's, um, it's bigger than a Barlow, I'm pretty sure. Uh, about three and a half inches on the handle length. And the blade is 
is two and three quarters. Let's do it this way. Let's see if you guys can see that. Two and three quarters. And the cutting edge. Uh, this ain't working out good. It's either too dark or too bright. Let's do it this way. Two and three eighths on the cutting edge. So this is it's not a big big blade at all. The handle's pretty sweet though. Let's just move this out of the way and take a look at it like this. Let's probably get the best look at it this way. Nice saber grind with the swedge up at the top. It's got half stops. Titusville, Pennsylvania. High polish. Keystone. Fit and finish is nice. It's not a bump on there. No gaps. Let's check the centering. I'm peeking a little to our right there. The secondary bait blades peeking a little to our left. Nail nicks on this side. Nice slim pen blade. Now let's get something to clean that. Since it's got a nice high polish on it, we might as well take a look at it with the polish. Oh, there's the model number. Well, I'll be damned. So, what's that say? 2009? 2002? Well, it'll be on the title by the time when I upload this vi video. I really can't see what that says. 2002. Um, oh, four, two. I don't know, it might be showing clear through this uh, phone, it's not looking too clear. Chat and Morgan, I guess the model number is not important unless you guys are going to try and track one down. Lots of walk and talk. Let's take a look at this bit blade again. It's got a pretty strong pull on it. Just beautiful blade. I don't know, is that a swell center? Swell center jack? I think that's what they call it. Center swell. But, she's a beaut. Tell me what you guys think. We'll put it down here. With some of my other Shat and Morgans. For the ride on out. Now stay tuned once I get that computer and load up the um, app for the for the um, auto draw. I'll be doing that international. I'm not going to put it on the title. It's going to be in the international budget um, knife 
video. <clears throat> I don't want to advertise it too much. I want to give give the main subscribers here, the people that watch the videos, give them the best chance to win. But it'll be open to all subscribers. I got the knife already picked out. You guys are going to like it. So, my friends, until next time, take care, peace, bye-bye.